Hi there, and welcome to my Itty Bitty Chapel. My name is Patty Chafee, and I'm the community minister at Niantic Community Church. I'm also a spiritual director and an expressive arts facilitator. The Itty Bitty Chapel is a few moments offered midweek to relax, refresh, and reflect on a spiritual word or phrase. It's usually filmed in or near a sacred space within my home called the Itty Bitty Chapel, and our candles here are lit to remind us of the presence of spirit within and around us. If you're so inclined to light a candle in your sacred space during our time together, you can pause the video now. Our word for reflection today is serenity. When you think about the feeling of serenity, what comes to mind? Close your eyes for a moment, if you would, and think of an image or an experience and notice the feeling that comes up with that thought. I recently had a first experience that gave me a sense of serenity just by standing in the presence. It was something of an adventure as I sought out the Cape Cod Lavender Farm in Harwich, Massachusetts. I'd never been to a lavender farm before and wasn't quite sure what to expect. I think in general too many expectations get in the way of just being present in the moment. So I chose to be open to possibilities that day. With directions in hand, we got to Harwich and were led through a regular residential neighborhood. Nothing extraordinary about it. Then there was a cul-de-sac and at the end of one of several driveways with a small hand-painted sign, it read Lavender Farm. So I guess we were there. Jim and I looked at each other and we ventured down the very long, very windy dirt road passing other driveways intersecting with the one lane path, we finally happened upon a handful of other parked cars deep in the woods. There was a smallish shed made with weathered boards and small quaint windows. Two women were selling all sorts of handmade lavender products, allowing just two people at a time inside social distancing and all. There was a small garden of lavender across from it, and I gathered this was the lavender farm. I'd read about the lavender fields, and with a little disappointment looming, wondered if the fields were referring to the small garden I was looking at. So much for being open. <laughs> we discovered another dirt trail and decided to follow someone walking past the shop toward we weren't sure what but thought possibly they might be headed toward the field we wandered further through the woods past some lovely cairns and what appeared to be fairy houses a few steps further and the trees parted the sun was bright in the sky and lavender fields stretched out before us it was quite spectacular I'd never seen such a sight before. There was a slight breeze that made the lavender sway ever so gently. Daisies were interspersed here and there, taller as if standing guard. As if the sight of God's purple creation wasn't enough, there was peace in the air, a tangible quiet I looked around and discovered we were alone in this beautiful place, carved out in the middle of the woods, although anyone could have strolled through at any time, but they didn't. With eyes closed, I was reveling in the scent of lavender, the feel of the breeze on my face, and the nearly inaudible rustle of the plants doing their dance. When Jim's phone rang, talk about jarring. I gave him the look and he wandered off to talk to 
whomever dared to interrupt this sacred moment, this experience of serenity. It was something special for sure. Eventually, we wandered back to the path, past the cairns and fairy houses, past the shed and shop, back to my car, over the river and through the woods, and back onto the pavement of the cul-de-sac. What a marvelous gift to experience, tucked so deep in the woods in this little Cape Cod village. Upon my return and wanting to share the farm with you, I looked up some of the meanings of lavender, long known for its power to relax. It has the ability to calm people down. We all know that, I think. But it's also associated with spiritual awakening, awareness, healing, serenity, purity, virtue, and the ancient healing arts. Lavender is helpful in meditation and prayer. If you aren't heading Capeward anytime soon, there is Lavender Pond Farm right here in Killingworth, Connecticut. If you're interested in your own experience of serenity while surrounded by lavender. Joan Borisenko wrote, every day brings a choice to practice stress or to practice peace. I really love that. It, it was an empowering thought. Every day brings a choice to practice stress or to practice peace right? We are continually challenged by this, aren't we? When Jim's phone rang in the middle of that lavender field, I instinctively gave him the look at having my peace disturbed. <laughs> what can I say? I'm human. <laughs> I can't help but wonder if stress or peace is our natural state. It seems stress can sometimes take over more quickly than peace can settle in. And we all experience moments of serenity in such vast and unique ways, right? So as I began, what comes to mind for you that makes that peace, that creates that peace, that serenity that settles deep into your heart? Find it, do it, be it. Yes? Spend a few minutes with me at the Cape Cod Lavender Farm. Take a deep breath and just enjoy. I keep you in prayer every day of this very sacred journey we call life. And if this message spoke to you in some way, feel free to share it with others. And until next time, may God bless you and heal you in every way you need. Namaste.